How many coffees do you guys do every single day? I've, I've had two and it's now 9 a.m. So I'm up and about, guys. I'm feeling pretty good. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing it really well. Trip to the thrift Thursday morning. It's my favorite day of the week. You guys know that big one ahead, four to five different op shops. I'll show you everything I'll buy, show you what it goes on to sell for. Um, hopefully we can fill this van up with a heap of stuff and then go and list it and sell it on eBay. That's kind of what I do every single day. Uh, come along for the ride guys, we're 15 minutes away from the first one and I'm very much looking forward to diving in. So we'll see you in there. Found this really cool Carlton Football Club training top, but I did have to pass because it had way too many holes, just like their defense. You'll always find me digging around the hat section, guys. This one here, the V8 Supercars Holden Racing Hat, it's actually worth about $30. So I've picked it up for two bucks. And then I found the Adidas NMD men's running shoes. Guys, these are $260 pair of shoes. And look, there was definitely a little bit of wear on these, but I have bought them for $10. I think I'll be able to get my 50 bucks for them pretty easily. Only $8 for these all black uh, New Balance uh, casual skateboarding type shoes. I have gone ahead and picked these ones up. They generally go okay for me, the New Balance brand. I, I did find a second pair, as you can see here as well. So two pairs of black New Balance. I'm hoping about 45 bucks a piece. And then I found the Jordans as well. These Jordans actually Actually, I thought there was going to be a bit more money in them than they uh, proved to be. Unfortunately, there was a little bit of wear on them as well. So for $35, as you'll soon see, I ended up passing on these ones. Not too bad of a start, guys. Op shop number one, all ticked off. There's going to be a bit of money made in this one. Have a look at all of this. Just one thrift to start the day. Let's get off to the second one. Build up what is so far a pretty good day. Jumped into the clothing section, guys, and managed to find myself three pretty cool t-shirts right off the bat. We've got this Boston Red Sox uh, tee, size large, on the Majestic tag as well. Completely genuine, a very, very cool product. Also found this Levi Strauss t-shirt as well. Very strangely sitting on a starter tag, though. Uh, this was a size extra large, and look, for $10, I don't think I'd ever buy a t-shirt for 10 bucks. So I've had to put that one away, unfortunately, as much as it was a pretty cool piece. Speaking of cool pieces, how cool is this? Yeezy for President 2020 plain white on the goat crew tag size large and i've only paid myself just the six dollars but check out the back print on that there he is the great man yeezy for president i think this one will sell pretty quick guys to be honest with you a bit of a novelty tee only six dollars i'll try and push about 30 bucks for it on ebay but given it was a white t-shirt as well it was actually in very very good condition um so i'll whack the other two back onto the shelf and i'll take this one away with me very very happy with that purchase right there found minecraft on the xbox one as well guys i paid seven dollars for this but it does go for thirty dollars so i was happy to make the investment uh this one i wasn't so sure about star wars prequel trilogy set brand new i don't know about this guys there is a forty dollar tag on it i had to pull out the e-profit calculator on this one and in the end well i've so far at the moment got it back on the shelf um i did find these harashi uh, nike running shoes these are a really cool pair actually in the same store a couple of weeks ago i found another pair they go comfortably for eighty dollars so i'm happy to pay the eighteen dollar spend here in this thrift store um, this was a big shoe bin that I thought would come up with a lot more than it actually did. There were a couple of notable mentions. These Mizunos look kind of cool. Uh, there was not too much wear on them either, but um, in all honesty, guys, it was actually not as much as I thought there would be. So in the end, I did pass. Just grabbed a couple of items out of this one. I ended up doing it. 40 bucks, like I would have showed you, I'll put the e-profit calculator onto it. I reckon I can make $30 out of it, but I've never bought a DVD collection for for $40 in a thrift store, but there were two reasons. One, Star Wars, I believe, just sells on eBay, and it was brand new and sealed. So when the cops were telling me 95 or 90, I think it was, uh, I think I can probably get the 90, and therefore, a $40 purchase is not too bad. Um, but how sick is that Yeezy for President t-shirt? I am absolutely wrapped about that one. How cool is that? Size large, if it was an XL, I would have kept it for myself, but I'm sure somebody out there will be happy to have it. Uh, let's get going, guys. Op shop number three, coming up. Welcome to the third op shop run of the day, guys. And I've been able to find these Nike fly nets right off walking in. What a really cool find here. These are in excellent condition. As you can see, the soles have really not been worn too much, but 
when I had a bit of a look at the price tag, I was unfortunately disappointed. Uh, we're talking $20 for a pair of shoes that would probably end up turning into about 50 on eBay. So I had to say no to that. And as well as these as well, which I thought were a pretty cool pair of Adidas uh, sneakers as well. 20 bucks, unfortunately, I just can't be doing it. This really nice star spangled uh, woolen sleeved uh, insight jacket actually was a really cool find as well. But for $25, what are these guys doing with their pricing in this op shop? Just ridiculous. I can't be doing that as much as I would love to be buying it. A very cool pair. This Nordic polo, probably one I could have bought. I believe this is a size small women's polo shirt. Uh, really cool color tone there. And uh, for eight bucks, might have been able to make some money. This one, I will be able to make some money on, that's for sure. This is the RVCA, the Rivka, the Ruka. $8 shorts, and they are brand new with tags, guys. So you bought these in the shop's retail, you'd be talking about 60 bucks. So I'm bound to be making some money there. Now, this is how I test for DVDs, guys. A little bit of a trick for all of you guys. Just look for the brand new seals. That's exactly what I've done here. Just running my fingers up, as you can see here. Anything that I see that is brand new, I will be grabbing, and there you go. I've been able to find four brand new and sealed DVDs. You're always gonna get more for these guys on a eBay, so I always do that little trick first and foremost. And all of these comp between 10 to $15. So I'm only paying a dollar. I'm happy to go ahead and pick these ones up. Not a bad little get out of the DVDs. I've hopped across to another thrift store now as well, and I've been able to find a heap of shoes. Have a look at these Asics Gel Light 3 women's uh, casual shoes. These are only $12, and I really do think that I'll be able to push my normal price point. I'm probably going to go $59.99 free postage with these. Always be looking for your Asics shoes, guys. These Nike Thiers, I've sold a few of these before, but unfortunately, while it was a good investment at $10, the soles were a little bit suspect, as you can see there. So for that reason, I have let them pass. Uh, these Air Maxes, while they look actually pretty cool, I wasn't sure if they were fake. They just had a bit of a fishy look about them on some aspects. So for that reason, I did put them by the wayside. These were a very cool pair of genuine Puma shoes, though. I think they were the bleakers from memory. Um, anyway, look, for $7, I'm never going to be saying no to these sort of shoes. When they're genuine leather like that, Puma's a pretty decent brand. I'm happy to grab these. I'm going to try and push for about 50 bucks again. Uh, these will go pretty well once I give them a really good scrub, and I mean a really good scrub. These are the Brooks Adrenaline uh, men's running shoes. Look, the soles aren't too bad, and for just an $8 spend, I think you guys know that there's going to be some decent money made on these. Happy to grab them. Them. This is the first for me, guys. Never done a pair of weightlifting shoes, but for $12, they comp for about $65 on eBay. These are the Fast Lift 235s. So we'll give these ones a go for the very first time. We'll see how we go. But ultimately, in this extra op shop that we did, it was just the shoes. Not too bad, guys. Four pairs of shoes, some shorts, some DVDs, $54 spent, seven items secured. Uh, a little bit more expensive than what I'd normally spend uh, on a normal thrift day, but nonetheless, there are some profits made. Um, let's get off to the last one, and hopefully in the last one, it can be our best of the day, and we can come away with a huge result. We'll see you in there. All right, guys, let's do it. The last op shop run of the day. I'm going to go really, really hard, and uh, I'm going to come away with some good stuff. I just know it. The first thing that I have found here is this Ruka RVCA windbreaker jacket. This is a size small, and uh, it was in pretty much light new condition. This is a very, very nice piece, but for $15, let me know in the comments. What would you guys do? In the end, I have actually let this one pass. Wrangler is always a great brand. You can always rely on this one, guys. This is a, probably a pretty good purchase, to be honest with you. It's an $8 purchase purchase, but it is a size small. And for that reason, I'm actually going to say no to it only based on the size. Now, do you guys know anything about this? I wanted to put it into the video. It's Phoenix and Phoenix was called rare on the sticker that you just saw there. And it was $30. So I didn't buy it because I couldn't see any comps about it on eBay. Have a look at these, a stack of PlayStation 3 games that I've seen here as well. All of them for $10 all of them comping on eBay for $15. There was literally no money to be made. I thought I'd hit a gold mine here, guys. Unfortunately, there was just no money to be made. So I have left all of them back on the shelf, which is very, very unfortunate. One thing I want to let you know about as well are these bike helmets. The bike helmets actually go on to sell for some great money. If you see these at garage sales, places like that, definitely buy them. Well, guys, no luck to end the last run of the day, unfortunately. That's okay, because I've had a pretty good day, and uh, I reckon there's gonna be about $160 spent when I look into it all, and I think there's gonna be well over $500 worth of value at a very, very conservative level. So it has been a great day. I, I really do think that across the board in all the op shops I've been in, the prices did seem to be a little bit higher than they normally are. So 
I did actually have to pass on a lot of items I think in past weeks I would have otherwise been able to purchase. So a little bit frustrating there, but I still think I've, I've got some good items here to be able to resell for some pretty damn good money. Um, let me know in the comments below, what have you thrifted this week for a pretty good price that you think you'll be able to make a few dollars on? I always love to hear what you sell. I also love to hear what you're picking up. So shoot it through into the comments below. Thanks very much for tuning into this one, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'm going to get back and edit this video and get it straight across to you. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, look forward to catching you in the next video. Thanks very much for tuning in, guys. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.